Hi, this is Marguerite. I am going to do a quick flip through of a journal, a collage journal that I've completed not too long ago. Um, the purpose of this journal was to assemble a bunch of scraps kind of randomly. I used stuff from magazines and old art uh, project remnants, as well as just um, odds and ends receipts and things like that. Um, if you need some ideas of where you can get scraps from, I will post a link in the description box with my list of places or ideas where you can uh, get paper scraps for doing your collage work. So this one is kind of a larger journal. Let's see, this is almost eight inches wide by nine. Actually, I did that wrong. Seven and a half by nine. And in comparison to this little guy, you can see it's, it's quite a bit bigger. I took out a bunch of pages because I knew that it was going to get thick, and it did. So, but that's fine with the rings. It came out quite easily. Um, I sometimes would work just on one page at a time, or I would do both at the same time. It depended on what I felt like doing, how much I wanted to do, how much time I had, um, so on and so forth. So here's just a bunch of things that I put together. I have a little bit of washi tape. This is an old thank you card, some kids art. Um, something from my kids' school, a lot of magazine pieces, uh, a little bit of rubber stamping. Some pages I like more than others. This is an example of a page that I really hate, and I uh, thought about tearing it out, but I kind of think, no, you should keep on to the, even to the ones that you, you don't like, you should keep them just so that when you do flip through, you can kind of remind yourself of things that you would have done differently. Uh, the reason why I don't like this is because I put this, this is from postage stamps, when you have the leftover pieces after you used all your stamp, I just set it down and it was, it was just the wrong thing to do. So I can start thinking about maybe filling in these boxes somehow so that it won't look so bad, but uh, for now I'll just leave it as is. So anyway, um, one other thing that I like to do is take pieces of news articles or have a receipt, something that's going to show the date, um, just so I have um, a little bit of a clue or the, the person who goes through it would have a little bit of clue when, when this was done. Of course, I could use a rubber stamp and you know stamp the date in a corner or or sign it with my initials and, and put the date on it. But I kind of like the idea of having things that are specific to the time when I when I was putting this together. This one kind of has a pink theme. And what I often do is I start putting laying pieces down and then I start to see if, if there's something more dominant than something else. So I think I started with this uh, business card and then after that, I just was like, oh, okay, well then let me look for things that are pink and started kind of um, assembling uh, a bunch of things until I got it right. And at the very end, I went back on the rubber stamp, for example, and I used uh, pink or a purple um, ink, you know, to, to, to do that. Sometimes there's a couple of things that have little little flaps, but, but not too much. This one has a little bit more blue. I had a bunch of things from my trip to San Diego and, um, you know, just put it together with a little, also a little bit of washi tape. Sometimes I have things that flip over. Um, that's something you can do if you have something that's big or something that you want to show both sides of. Just make sure that you reinforce with um, tape or washi tape on both sides um, of your hinge. Here's 
Here is um, a paint chip. I think I might have started this picture just with this and then added things until I got the right balance. Here's another, again, that paint color uh, paint chip. I use pieces of paper pad. What I do is when I have leftover things, I save them in a little bag like this. This I think had little towels, washing towels or something for a baby. And I like them because they're clear and it's a very durable plastic. So I just stick my random small pieces left over from, from a paper pad in here. And when I need something for a collage, then I can, you know, take things out. So I don't keep all of my scraps, but what fits in here, I will keep. Something else. Here, this is from a T. I also have really nice um, pieces from this catalog. This catalog I get in the mail, it just comes to me. And it's really cool because it's just selling pieces of art, I guess, framed art. But I love going through it and just cutting out the pieces and then I uh, set them aside. This is really beautiful. I set them aside and then use them in my collages. So that's what this is, and I, I had another one somewhere else. This one. Christmas stuff and New Year, those are chocolate coins. And this is this is a, a pocket in here. So I had a, a envelope that came with a gift card and I also just kind of decorated it. There's another one. Where are we going today? This is map. And I just used a circle punch, punched out a whole bunch of pieces from the map, and then used a um, distress ink around the outsides to kind of just um, put some emphasis on the middle. What else? Something from Better Homes and Garden. Just a bunch of things. Here's something else. Here's another a um, what is that called? Lottery ticket. And yeah, there's a date on it here. So that's the reason why I put that in here. Receipt from a shopping. I like dates. I really do. Kid art. Here's another envelope that kind of opens. And this is something from an iPad. I really like stuff that's got diagrams or. Um, images on it that will kind of open from a small like a small book so that's what that is this I just taped on this one doesn't flap but this one does have a flap that opens here is more paint chips this and this I used those to kind of start off the page and then add on Here's another kind of map. This one I got from the AAA, and these are great for using as drop um, papers underneath your other artwork. And when you're done with your project, then just use whatever paint you have left. You can use watercolor paint or you can use acrylic paint to just pretty much paint the whole map in different colors. And then you can save it for tearing up whatever color you need when you are making your collage. This was done, this is the this is the back side of the map, done with those Delusion spray inks. So again, I just laid the whole thing down, sprayed all over with a bunch of random colors, and then once it's dry, fold it up, put it away, and then you can come back to it and tear out the pieces that you want that are going to correspond to whatever else that you are making in your collage. Here's another three colored paint chip with an image that I used as a basis for making a page. Um, yeah, this is a little more 
bright than what I really like. I don't really care for these pages, but I was using up my scraps. So this is what I had on hand and it was good to just use them up. Here's just a bunch of business cards. I went antiquing in San Diego and got a bunch of stuff. And this is a chocolate candy wrapper. Some more paper pad here and here. And this pocket just has, you know, things that I picked up from the antique store, antique village. Uh, yeah, in, where is that? Ocean Beach, San Diego. Here's another one of those envelopes I made. Just tiny scraps, pen. Here's a good example of what you can do with food packaging. Um, I really like that shield. More things from magazines. Here's a bunch of old stamps. Again, that circle punch, it's fun to go through home magazines or catalogs and, um, you know, save a bunch of images from there. Magazines. This is a book page, I think. And this looked too plain when I was done. And I was like, what can I do to make this better? So I have this piece of plastic wheel from one of my kids' toys, and I dipped it in acrylic paint. And I used that red, obviously, to help it match with this. This is a blue page. Um, my family or I must have been sick that week when I did these because I see all these wrappers for um, throat lozenges. And anything else I want to say about this? Maps. I really love maps. Maps are great. <laughs> this is just a bag. The whole thing and put the washi tape underneath the bag and then put it on that way. This is kind of a blue theme. This is one huge stamp, postage stamp, I should say. And that's it. I've got a couple of blank pages. I still could add a few more things to. So that's this one. I have um, a couple of other flip throughs for other projects that you can check out videos for. And until next time, thank you for watching.